you ever wonder if God is still working in the world? Right here in the middle of John chapter 5, we have a glimpse, a promise from Jesus. Here's what's happened. Jesus is being persecuted by the religious leaders who are incensed, outraged, that he's healed this man on the Sabbath. They've missed the whole point, like the glory and power of the miracle. They're fixated that he's broken the law and he's working on the Sabbath. And this is Jesus' response. Here we are in John 5, 16. So because Jesus was doing these things on the Sabbath, the Jewish leaders began to persecute him. In his defense, Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day, and I too am working. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. The line that stands out to me in the reading today is this, My father is always at his work to this very day and I too am working. That's a comfort to me because there are lots of problems in my own life, in my family and in the world that I think I need to wring my hands over solving. I need to be the one to drive the solution forward. But I love what Jesus says here. My father is always working to this very day. Even though we observe the Sabbath, we we receive this gift, gift of rest. God is always working. He doesn't give up. He doesn't Peter out. He is always working to this very day. This is a short word for you in the reading today, but my question is, where are you troubled? Where are you troubled about what's happening in your life, in the world around you? Do you believe that God is always working? Can you pray today and ask God to give you eyes to see the way he's at work in your life and in the world? And what Jesus is saying here, he's not giving them an excuse. He's not abolishing the Sabbath. He's saying you've missed the point of the Sabbath. We see that as he confronts the Sabbath over and over in his life across the Gospels. But what Jesus is saying is, I too am working. I'm about the will of the Father. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is always at work bringing about redemption and wholeness. And we actually get to partner with him. We're not the bottom line, we're not the ones driving at home, but we get to partner with God at work in the world to heal, to bring truth, to bring joy and hope. So what are the problems you see? When you pray today, would you invite God to see the way that God is always working? And then would you think, how could I jump into the work? How could I be an extension of the hands and feet to bring about God's purpose and God's way in the world today. 